Hello and welcome back to 50 questions Mormons can't answer answered and we're in, we're wearing the goofy electric uh, outfit again and we got kind of a goofy question <laughs> to answer um, goofy because it makes some interesting assumptions here so we are on question 31 it says if Jesus is the Jehovah of the Old Testament this is something we believe and Elohim is referred to as God in the Old Testament can you explain Deuteronomy 6 4 to me here O Israel the Lord and then in kind of parentheses Jehovah our God and then in parentheses again Elohim is one Lord Jehovah in parentheses so first first off um, I just have to say I'm not sure I can explain anything to the guy who wrote this I'm, I'm, I'm just saying okay that was probably a low blow but it, it, it does feel like it so let me read um, how Deuteronomy 6 4 would read without the uh, pre the parentheses um, here O Israel the Lord our God is one Lord so um, this is act actually has one a very simple explanation in our terms so Basically, there's only one person being referred to in this one. The second one that says our God is not referring to Elohim, but is referring to Jehovah. So, the Lord our God. That's actually not, that's not referring to two people. That's just referring to Jehovah. So, the Lord, who is our God, is, is what it, it is saying. Um, <laughs> this is a really really wild interpretation of <laughs> of that it, it actually kind of makes makes me laugh um, but like like I said this is down to our our personal beliefs that when it refers to Lord or Jehovah that is referring to uh, Jesus Christ in the Old Testament that's our beliefs you may disagree and then when it's referring to God or God the Father it is referring to Elohim or uh, God the Father uh, we believe there's there's a certain degree of separation they're both members of the Godhead um, like that but it's um, this is it, it, it's one of those questions that happen when you spend a little too much when you don't fully understand someone's beliefs and spend a little too much time trying to figure them out you come up with essentially a straw man argument like this one which is here, I'm going to assign this belief to you, and I'll apply it, it to its logical end, then I'll make fun of you for having this <laughs> having this belief I just applied to you. It, it's, a, it's, like I said, it's a real wild and crazy interpretation of what the scripture actually says. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, wait, every once in a while we'll come up with these really goofy uh, questions here, so <laughs> we'll, we'll just leave it at that. I hope you've enjoyed watching this wall go by. That's the one downside of this particular view, that if you if you hit that wall section of London, you're going to go through the wall section. Which seems to happen pretty much every time I do this one, so... Ah. Uh, must mean something. The wall's a metaphor for something. Anyway. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this. I will see you in the next video. Bye.